What's good, y'all? My name is Symbolic Knight, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm a spoken word artist. My Instagram handle is Symbolic with a K underscore Knight. That's S-Y-M-B-O-L-I-K underscore K-N-I-G-H-T. The Knight is to honor my grandfather's last name whenever I'm doing spoken word. The poem that I have for you is called Gaming Thoughts. Feelings. It's the ultimate storm that I struggle to formulate. Like the sky is falling, role playing in a game of disarray. But in my 27 years of living, I learned that games made me feel safe, but demons wanted to be my player too. I wouldn't dare pass in the controller. You see, before I started doing bets on parlays, I was stressing to get tens in NBA Live's dunk contest. I was giving cold streaks in 2K, walking around this silent hill, pain on the mound. I was a backpack kid. Feeling like a nobody, and I know this may seem heartless, but this half-life's been depleted. Healing feels rapid as saying I'm okay, and I'm not okay. I'm spiraling, crashing out, seeking a medal honor of me versus me, but I needed this pain. I'm like a warrior on speed. But whenever I'm at war, I see God, knowing that the devil may cry, me seeing happiness being my final fantasy. But we can't keep letting mental health go underground and skate past it. Till death casts us as ghosts and we are left with no recon. Call to duty of anxiety. Keeping a straight face like depression doesn't hit like bullets. Mm -hmm. Testing your mental to see if you get solid. Like Sims in God's world, dawn in this anger. But here's the kicker of being black and depressed. They'll tell you to shut your mouth. Here comes more pain. To not be spied with your emotions, but if you was to be, speak up and keep your thoughts raw. And don't get smacked down, but don't you dare. Don't you dare cry. Because to society, men will always represent violence. Especially the black ones. That's the true crime in judging the skin that I'm in. Don't you think? Yet, they'll put stock into us to keep it a bean. They want us to wild out like Jack, but they leave us to drown like Jack. And we're supposed to compel to sit and run and leave the stories to become our new vices. But when I was growing up, teachers told me to be strong. That's why I learned to be solid. I would solely stick to Sony. I need these games to console me so I can no longer let anger take control of me. I always pictured myself to be a star. I never imagined the war to be the battle for no mortal should have eternal combat. I'm a born sinner in this saint's row, but whenever I'm up, I'm up. Ace combat until it all comes back crashing down. Like if I get too excited, life becomes my bouncer. But isn't that beautiful? Or is nostalgia too painful to illustrate my misery? I'm not a madman. You don't need a golden eye to see when one's hurting. Compassion has become a game breaker. But the streets don't value that. Love is nothing but a mercenary's game. So we have to co-pay for therapy. But we dance past that track. But what if grief comes back? We can play pretending, be deaf to these jams. But that isn't up to par. Ignoring it, ignoring it doesn't get you out of the woods. But that's just how healing is. The thoughts of becoming a hitman to solve your own suicide thoughts in the Reaper's mystery. Playing these thoughts to this house that you found to be safe is a resident's evil. But there's beauty because this is only just half my life. So I would go off track if it could bring me back on course to irony and feeling death knowing that I seek redemption. But I'm ready to rumble and leave it all up to God's hands all while I search my soul within to see my own caliber. Because after all, y'all, healing. Healing is a chord that we can all play. Thank you. My name is Symbolic Knight once again from Brooklyn, New York. Instagram Symbolic underscore Knight. Follow me. I have two books. And thank you for the opportunity.